is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're back with a two-in-one wwe elite figure reveal on the wwe elite series 98 randy orton and mandy rose figures now i'm gonna go ahead and apologize for my voice i don't know it's gotten worse over the last day or so and so just bear with me through the review maybe it'll get better as i continue to talk maybe it'll get worse i don't know but we got randy and mandy paired them together we are going to get into the rick boogs in the next video and i'm very excited for that figure i think it's got a lot of great stuff going on on. Nonetheless, man, we're back. Elite 98, Randy and Mandy coming at us right here in the review. It's kind of weird because I feel like we just got our white gear, Randy. And now in the blink of an eye, we're at Elite 98. I feel like that went really, really fast. But here's Randy in all his glory. Got an image of Randy there, image of Randy there, image of Randy there. Rest of the figures in the wave. And then on Mandy Rose, we do have kind of her like modern NXT gimmick. Got the wings back there. Nice shot of Mandy there. Nice shot of Mandy there. Another shot of Mandy. And then the rest of the figures in the wave, of course. She's kind of revived her career now in NXT, and now she is back in our WWE Elite line. Last time we saw her was Elite Series 75. She looked a lot different then. Nonetheless, man, let's dive into the review. We're going to crack these guys out of their packaging, find out what they're about, and see how they compare to their other figures. All right, guys, so here's Randy and Mandy out of the packaging, spinning round and round as they always do, of course. I like the way both of these figures look. I think they do a really good job of representing Randy Orton and Mandy Rose in figure form, which is always what you want out of your figures, especially your elites, the highly detailed figures that Mattel gives us nowadays. Top of the notch, retail price. I mean, this is money right here. Nonetheless, you guys know how we do. We're going to run through Mandy Rose's accessories and get into our figure itself. Then we will run it back and take a closer look at Randy Orton's accessories and Randy Orton him. Himself. All right, guys, so for Mandy Rose's accessories, as you guys can see here, we do get her wings, which basically act as a backpack. You know, you got the harness right here that goes around, kind of like your typical Halloween costume or something like that, kind of fitting this time of year, right? The wing detail is actually pretty good here, like the sculpt and stuff, but you do get the red going down. You got the black in there, and that's pretty much it. It's, you know, it's like plasticky hard rubber. Nothing too crazy. Not going to hinder anything. You know, it's a nice accessory. I mean, it was part of her entrance, so, you know, I get the, I, I get the whole appeal of it. Now, Alex Outside of that, you are just going to get your standard mic holding hands that do have the black nail polish on there. And then she has her weird entrance hands that her last Elite did come with. The Elite 75 also came with this, and they also feature black nail polish. So, not a lot of accessories, but, you know, the, you get the necessary ones, I guess. NXT Championship would have been cool, but, yeah, I mean, it, it gets the job done. So, getting into the Mandy Rose figure itself, man, starting out with the head sculpt, I think it's pretty damn good, man. I, I Like, I, I don't really know how you could complain about this. I feel like the hair kind of looks a bit like it has like a maroon tint to it, which I don't think is accurate. You know, I think it's supposed to be, you know, a brown color, a straight brown color. But I think it looks a lot like Mandy Rose. I think the likeness is totally there. You get the choker on there. The top is nice. I think this all, is all newly sculpted here. You do get like the string actually sculpted on the side there. Nothing sculpted on the belt there with the studs, but it is sculpted on the lower part of the torso under here, which is nice. It still has that terrible problem with the shoulder. As you guys can see, this shoulder comes all the way down. It's it's always the damn left shoulder, man. Like, look at that right there. It will not go out. It's just stuck to the side. I, I can't figure out a good way to get it down and without breaking the figure or the bicep, which is very annoying. But the eyes look really good. I think that's the standout part of the figure, man. The head sculpt looks just like her, and I think they did a really good job of capturing her likeness there. Black shorts on there. Double-jointed knees, which are great. And then you have the little stockings and the little short boots with the little buckles, which are a nice touch. These actually are flat, and they, like, can keep their footing a little bit. Just that stupid-ass shoulder, man. God. As far as figure comparisons are, concern you do have the elite 75 up next to the elite 98 here and you guys can just see the difference here i think the likeness on this one is a lot better you know they gave her a little bit more beef maybe i feel like they did add to the bulkiness of the figure here but yeah i think the likeness has come a long way though honestly yeah i think they did a better job i like this figure more just that shoulder bro look at that dumb ass. look look at that it's ridiculous that's all you get right there this is a huge problem with women's figures man i don't i don't care what anybody says outside of the arm I mean, she can move around well. She's got ball joints. She's got the double jointed knee. You get the ankle rocker, boot rotation. So if it didn't have that dumb, stiff arm thing, I think she'd be sitting pretty good. Now for Randy Orton's accessories, you're kind of featuring the same thing here, except for instead of entrance gear, you do get the Raw Tag Team Championship, which does look really, really good right here. You got your matte finish on the plate. You got the Spartan Elements. Probably, probably my least favorite championships in all of WWE. We 
we've had these championships, this design for a really long time, whether it be the Pity Belts or the Raw or SmackDown Tag Team Championships. We, it's run its course. We need new tag titles, but mine's got a little, you know, mess up in it there. But it is another Raw tag title, Red Strap. You know, you get the point. Outside of that, you also get black hand tape Randy Orton mic holding hands, which, you know, we pretty much get as a standard nowadays. And then you get your Randy Orton turnbuckle pose, legend killer, you know, hands that he's, the, the pose that he's been doing his whole career. So getting into Randy Orton, man, I like this head sculpt a lot. I think it looks like just, just like him. I mean, I don't know how you'd have any issues. I think the likeness is uncanny. You got the nice mustache. You get the goatee. Very nice hair, eyes, eyebrows, head shape. It's all there. Great torso choice as always. He does have all of his tattoo work here. You do get the double jointed arms in here. All the tattoo detail looks good. Black wrist tape. Now, this looks a lot like the Elite 78 Randy Orton in terms of trunks. But as you guys will see on the back, it actually says RKO instead of Orton, which is what his last Elite was supposed to have. But they did put Orton on it, so it wasn't even accurate, you know, based on his white gear. But it does look good here. Got the nice beefy thighs. Same RKO black knee pads with the logos and then the openness and then the standard black boots. Not the most exciting figure of all time, but as far as comparisons, oh uh, yeah, and the, the white one. You gotta get the, you know, you gotta get the white one in here, so. Here's the last few Ordens that we've got. Here's the Elite 78 and the Elite 98 up next to each other. You guys can see this is basically an updated version. Trunks look virtually the same. You got the same knee pads and everything, but this one has double jointed arms, a better head sculpt, and it does say RKO on the butt instead of Orton. So it is a slight variation there. It is better overall. I would say this one's better, so, you know, that, that gets the job done there. And it's basically a reverse of his last Elite in the white there. Very similar head sculpts, but you do have the black trunks versus the white. And and this logo is supposed to be on the butt, but they put Orton over here, I guess, by accident. But, yeah, I mean, they're all Randy Ortons. They're all great. They all look good. And, uh, yeah, I still like the white gear better, but this figure's pretty good. Then you do have the top talents over here, which, you know, is what it is. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 WWE Elite 98 review of Randy Orton and Mandy Rose. I like the Randy Orton. It's kind of an inverse of our last figure, where, you know, it's white, red, and black. Now we have the black, red, and white. I actually like this figure a lot more. And I'm a massive Randy Orton fan. He's one of my... I'm a massive Randy Orton guy. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I think this figure pretty much captures him perfectly. Love the head sculpt. Tattoo work looks great as always. Great gear. He's a hot seller. All his figures do really, really well. So I'm on board with it, man. If you guys would like to grab either of these figures, by the way, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. The Mandy Rose figure is a very nice update as well. My God, my voice, man. Jesus. Ugh. But it is a very nice update. I think they did a really great job on it. Head sculpt looks phenomenal. Looks just like her. If you are a Mandy Rose fan or a Randy Orton fan, I think both of these figures get the job done. That's really all you can ask for, man. But I'm going to go rest my voice. Thank you guys for bearing with me through the video on my voice, man. My God, I'm annoying myself. And I'm just trying. I'm, I'm fighting. I'm fighting like hell to get through this video, man. But I'm going to go rest my voice, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts on the figures down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and 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 give me some good remedies for my throat down in the comment section or